Hi Puzzle Lovers! Two days ago the Vienna Jigsaw Puzzle Club had its second online Jigsaw competition. The first Jigsaw competition was a, an informal one, a very private one. Only the core group of our team uh, did participate. We did the Avatar Puzzle and you can watch a video about it that I made some weeks before. This time, this Thursday in the evening, we had the puzzle Vogelwiese, it's birds in the meadow in English. And uh, as you can see, the picture is uh, very busy. It's not an easy image at all. Uh, we had 30 participants. The organizer was again Anna from uh, the Vienna, Vienna Chicksu Puzzle Club. And this time we had 30 participants from at least four countries. I know from Austria, Germany, Switzerland and Luxembourg. But perhaps there were other countries represented, I do not know. And yeah, I did not puzzle at home. I had a very small table or at least the, the properties, the, the dimensions were, were a little bit strange. So the depth of the table was very, very slim. Yeah, I will show you a uh, time lapse and probably some parts of the, uh, my solving video in real time. And in the end, I will talk about the puzzle, about the results, about the team, about the discussion that there was happening afterwards. Enjoy! Ah, and I forgot that uh, the puzzle, the blue car, already arrived. Uh, it's too late for the uh, Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers premiere, so I will not watch the organizers' videos in real time and I cannot discuss, discuss with them. But in the next one or two weeks I will puzzle this puzzle as well and I will uh, upload my times on the Google form. So I will be participating in the third battle of the YouTube puzzlers as well. I will put links on this competition uh, also in the description below because you can take part till the end of February in this competition. It's also a competition that you do from home. And we're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Puzzle! took me 17 seconds stumping out all pieces and propping up the box. Then I flipped all pieces while sorting out the edge pieces. I usually don't sort out the edge pieces anymore, but this puzzle uh, was very busy and I thought I will surely come back to the edge sooner or later because I need some structure. Uh, the flipping felt very slow, but it took me only less than four minutes, which is quite okay. In the meantime, you see that I propped up the box nearer to me, which is not very user friend or viewer friendly, but I cannot help uh, it anymore. And luckily for you, I decided to puzzle on the right of my table uh, and started with the sky which is very nice and a little bit small with the gradient from blue to yellow and in the meantime i have puzzled most and finished most of the birds but now the tricky part starts that is why i did more or less the rest of the border and then uh, you can see me looking at the box every now and then 
almost half an hour is finished but I was quite pleased because I had pieced together quite some parts and yeah I was trying to get more familiar with the puzzle most of the pieces have some small small indication where they go to also uh, the how do we call it the the sharpness and the, the blurriness on the pieces differs on different sides of the puzzle and so I did quite some progress you see that approximately three quarters of an hour have passed so we are nearing the one hour limit but yeah my parts that are still missing are that not that huge I'm using the box all the time and now I'm laying it down you can be happy because we can watch the rest of the video more closely now that the one hour mark is nearing I will slow down the video to real time you see that quite some areas are open but at that time of the competition uh, nobody had yet announced finished so I was qu feeling quite happy so I did not of course realize that we were nearing the one hour mark but I was feeling that not that many parts are left and of course I knew that some other competitors will now finish soon but yeah I realized that I was quite fast in comparison to all the other speed puzzlers there were several competitors that had competed at the worlds in 2023 so I knew probably 10 of the 30 participants and I by name or have met them before and it will not take very long now that the first participant will announce so I'll get quiet now I'm done. No. Well, this was Veronica from Austria. I did not know her before. I have never heard of her. But in the meantime, I know that she signed up for the coming, uh, upcoming World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship in September 2024 so she uh, has not competed on an international level before probably she started speed puzzling quite recently but as you can see uh, soon she crushed the competition she was faster uh, clearly faster than all the other participants so if I'm now asked who is the fastest puzzler in Austria, I will call Veronica. So of course there might be several others that we don't know, but from those that enter competitions, I'm quite sure that Veronica will be fastest most of the time. Stop. And you've heard the second finisher it's Merle from Germany. Germany. Uh, I'm not sure now if she has competed last year, but I don't think so. So she will be also have her premiere at the World Championship in the year 2024. She is also very fast, and yeah, these two ladies they uh, were far faster. Than all the other competitors it will take perhaps now three to four minutes for the next finisher 
and uh, if you don't stand me trying these last puzzles, puzzle pieces, of course this, this, this takes quite a long time. If you don't stand it or don't stand my commentating, just speed up. Uh, it will take some more minutes till uh, the next finishers and of course me will uh, yeah, end this puzzle. But you can see that it's although all the pieces are quite similar, it's it was still possible to find pieces that stood out where I knew where they would go, or at least knew the region where they would go. So I was making quite a nice progress without needing to shape so. Perhaps I should have looked at the holes of my puzzle more closely and should have picked out those pieces or searched for those pieces that are yeah, where the outline was already clear. But that's always the big problem. Do you take pieces from the pile and search where they go or do you take holes in your image and search in your pile for the specific tile that is missing and there is no clear answer to that so you have to answer this question at, at every puzzle newly and if you shape sort of course then it's easier to find a specific piece but here, I think it was still the right strategy to just look at the pieces that were left outside and always take those who were had some small prominent feature where I had an idea where I could try. Okay, now we have one hour five minutes over. The competition had a time limit of 90 minutes. I was not sure if I could finish this puzzle in 90 minutes myself, but you can see that I will manage to do so, which I'm very happy at. And it will take only seconds for the next two participants to finish. Let's listen. I'm done. Done. Only seconds parted Julia and Laura, Julia from Austria. I, of course, uh, I recognized her voice, so I know when she had finished that it was her. And Laura from Germany, only a few seconds behind her, they took the third and fourth spot of this competition. Yeah, what shall I tell you next? I forgot.
that it's only some minute or so, two minutes till the end, and you feel that uh, you feel some pressure. The last pieces, so I am quite relaxed usually while puzzling. So you see that my movements are not extremely frantic, which I'm quite proud of. It's funny because some of the puzzlers look very stressed and others look rather calm. I'm also proud that I'm using both my hands. I'm right-handed, but usually I'm puzzling left-handed. Uh, I don't know even why, but here I'm using both my hands. And let's listen again. Okay, that was Patrick from Switzerland. He was the fastest puzzler of Switzerland of the World Championship. And now it was Iris. I think she is from Germany too. I'm quite sure. So six participants have already finished. And At that moment, I think I felt something like, yeah, two other participants so close before I finished. But of course, you see, I have still 15 pieces or so left. It takes still some time, so it was not close. And I can tell you already now that I will get the seventh place in this competition, which I'm very, very proud of. In a time of 1 hour, 10 minutes and 52 seconds. So only when I stop the time in the video call, the time officially stops. Done. So my time is 1 hour. 10 minutes and 52 seconds, seventh place in this competition. And from the 30 participants, 14 could finish the puzzle in one hour 30 minutes. And you heard it very close behind me. Magdalene finished in eighth place. And these are the official results which you can find on Instagram if you search for the Vienna Jigsaw Puzzle Club. And now it's time to thank Anna from the Vienna Jigsaw Puzzle Club for organizing this competition. There will be surely another competition quite soon, which is open to the international public. Just follow the Instagram account and you should not miss it out. See you!